In this video I'm going to take a look at question 6 from the 2017 Higher Level Construction Studies paper. It's a question that generally looks or normally looks at low environmental impact and eco-friendly builds. So to start off with, just on the question here, we can see it's a timber frame construction. It's got an external native art, large uh, screen, an eco-friendly build. Part A is looking for two advantages of uh, this, make the house eco-friendly in design. And then the second part, part B, is notes and free and sketches, three features contributing to the houses, house being eco-friendly. And part C is the low operating costs are important. Uh, it asks for two features that um, could be added to the design that would further reduce operating costs. So I'm just highlighting each of these things again as I'm going back over them. It's something you might find useful to do at the start. And the question is to highlight the, what's been asked for you in the, each of the questions, just to make it clear in your mind before you start answering. And I'm going to take a look at the proposed way of answering each of these parts. So the first part in part A is the two advantages of eco-friendly house design in the 21st century. So the first one that I'm taking a look at here is I'm saying eco-friendly house design reduces dependence on diminishing natural resources. Fossil fuels such as oil, coal and gas are non-renewable and the more we use them the more we harm the more harm we're causing to the to our environment. So anything along those lines here reduction of CO2 um, from burning fossil fuels. Part uh, The advantage too that I was saying would be local resources such as water and energy can come under heavy amounts of pressure when faced with population growth and through the use of eco-friendly house design that increases water and energy efficiency and then it means that that strain or this strain can be reduced by that. So it's taking pressure of uh, the main services that will be offered to houses. So there are two advantages. There is other ones that could be taken out of that there. They're the ones I'm offering. Part B question of the question, we're looking for three features and highlighted here is notes and free and sketches of what contributes to an eco-friendly design. So the first thing you see in the picture here, it shows the native large. So I'm going to use a part of that sketch there. As you can see, I'm going a little bit off the, uh, the screen here at the bottom, but I'm drawing the, a little bit of the porch and a little bit of the main part of the building. It's not necessary to draw the whole thing. Uh, it's going to get my message across here of the use of the native larch being a timber finish and uh, that is locally sourced so it's got uh, it's carbon neutral material it's got low embodied energy and any of the co2 released in its manufacture is offset by the trees that were planted so the external screen uh, is what i'm going to highlight here uh, a slightly lesser sketch might get you away where I've had finished to here and this I'm going to show a little bit of colour being used as well not absolutely necessary and the note as you can see here is all about the native large low embodied energy carbon neutral reducing CO2 emissions or, or offsetting at CO2 emissions by in its manufacture so anything along those lines would be quite acceptable Even that sketch with the, the glazing and south facing, I suppose if you said I'll triple glazing and add into um, a passive type, a passive standard design as well, could be highlighted using a sketch like that. That would be reducing energy consumption, and good for the homeowner and uh, good for the environment. So the second feature that I've offered here then is the large glazing area facing south. And again, a very similar type of sketch I'm going to use here to the last one. A little bit different in scale. But what I want to make sure that I include in the sketch that I do here, as you can see, it's not that it has to be anything special or anything. It's just to get the message across because the question asked for it to have a sketch along with my note. So make sure that your sketch backs up what you're saying in your note. And uh, very important to have the south indicated in us here with the sun showing where it's going to be placed here at the at the house and you can also see from the the plan that was shown in the the question that all the north facing side of it is there's small very small window, windows or no windows at all and a lot of it and the rays of the sun been shown in here come from the south and the ground level so the large area glazing which is south facing leads to solar gains which um, helps reduce the use of non-renewable fossil fuels for space heating, reducing the building's impact on the environment. So again, it's down to being environmentally friendly or eco-friendly. And it's a feature of this build, or the design of this build, 
that makes it eco-friendly is what I'm highlighting here. And the third feature that uh, I'm going to say, well, I'm sketching here at the minute. I'm just drawing a little bit of something, a bit of color in here. It does make the your drawing or your sketch jump off the page a little bit. But at time, if time's an issue, I wouldn't be bothered with doing the, the coloring part and just get the sketch to get your message across. The feature tree that I want to take here is from the sketch. You can see or uh, from the, the question, you can see that it's only one room deep. Uh, the building and you can see that the upstairs is used it says in the question there's two bedrooms upstairs in the bathroom uh, so it's utilizing all the floor space and as you can see that the eaves is a little bit, little bit higher from the front elevation so obviously uh, you're using all the floor space so it's maximizing the use of the floor space here so there's two things that could be highlighted and this here is the maximum maximizing the area of the floor and the windows as well too which will really kind of go back to the other a feature that I've highlighted already south facing and uh, no north facing windows one room depth compact design which is the most efficient design with uh, open plan which is all the rage at the minute and uh, naturally lighted as well too so reduction on uh, cost for natural lighting the layout there's no corridors all space is used no wasted floor area one and a half story for maximum use of the upper floor and a simple light sketch and uh, again showing the sun as well to allow the light to penetrate into the building so you're kind of covering two things in that one feature that, that I've shown there the th th third thing then we're asked for two features in in part C to reduce the operating costs or yeah the further reduce the operating costs of the house because obviously there's a lot of design features already which are actually uh, uh, very good and reducing uh, the overall running of the house and they're environmentally friendly so the features i've picked here is that at the back you can see the sketch that i've done there's gone for the middle section at the back where the door is beside the, the stairs i didn't draw in the stairs in my sketch here but i'm going to put in a porch this is where i'm highlighting here now the second external door or a sliding door so it's working as a, a windbreak or like a porch so that when the, the back door is opened that there's less chance of heat escaping from that area that I've shaded there. So by fitting the sliding door at the back entrance, heat loss by access will be greatly reduced. And I'm using the sketch. So something else is something that's good to go with. Anything that they've given you in a sketch, use that to your advantage and, and draw it out. And it's a fairly simple 2D sketch. For this last one here, I've gone for a kind of more complicated 3D sketch. You would get away with uh, a 2D sketch for this as well. It wouldn't necessarily have to be this kind of sketch here because it's a lot more difficult to do. Uh, and I've gone to highlighting some of the parts. I've put in a fully glazed porch at the front where there was sliding doors that lead into the, the living room area. So as again, it's working as a windbreak. A few little simple features are shown. The glazing is shown with that little line feature and the, the sheeting. And I've used a little bit of color blue for the glass and a little bit of brown for the for the wood finish and a little bit of black then on, on the roof part and the green kind of just make it stand out of the page again highlighting where south is you could have two features out of this one here where you increase in the vlux size or the skylight size here to allow more light in or build a glazed one break porch to the front entrance to prevent uh, heat loss just like the last part although it was just a 2d drawn and again, a 2D drawn would, would get you away in this part of the question. And that's my offering for answering that question there.